Hello all you beautiful people out there, my name is Emmanuel and welcome to the follow up version of the only money guide you will ever need. In this video I will explain to you which categories earn you the most money in the late game as well as explaining to you how you can make more money efficient stores. The results might surprise some of you and some might also expect it, so there is no reason to wait. Let's get straight into it. The video will be divided into four different parts. Number one, each category's hourly net income. Number two, building tips to maximize the possible income. Number three, simple explanation on how to reach five star rating. And number four, how to download and use an auto clicker for the AFK grind. Quickly before the video begins, only 2% of you guys watching my videos are subscribed. Please click the subscribe button because it helps me out a ton. And also, thank you guys so much for 1000 subs. This is a huge milestone on my channel and I will do a 1000 sub special where I donate 1000 Robux to one lucky winner of you guys. So make sure to subscribe and comment giveaway down below and you'll get a chance to enter. Alright, so I decided to test out the 5 most popular money earning strategies. Furniture, small electronics, clothing, toys and the everything category, which means selling all items in the entire game. To get more accurate results, I grinded furniture and the everything category with a manager because they take up too much storage space, while the other categories I did with truck delivery. This means that the three other categories will have the 25% decreased cost compared to furniture and the everything categories, which means more money earned. I also waited for the leaderboard to refresh before I started the net income test. Now, the results I got might surprise some of you. In shared place number 5, with 70k net earnings per hour, we have got toys and the selling everything category. The reason to why these two categories sell so poorly is because they waste the customer's time. When going for toys, you sell lots of them. But since they are sold at such a low price, they won't be worth it in the long run. Also selling everything takes up, takes up lots of space, which means that the store needs to be quite large in order to have good rated crowdedness. By the way, having 5 star rated store will give you almost twice the amount of customers than if you have a 3 star rated store. The crowdedness and decoration are important. Now, in third place, with 90k net earnings per hour, we have got clothing. Just like toys, clothing sells pretty bad. But I gotta say, the earnings are a lot smoother. You seem to sell all the time. However, again, the clothes are cheap and sell at a low price. Now, it's up to two different categories. Electronics and furniture. One of the categories got 180k net worth an hour and the other 260k. Are you ready? And the winner is... Furniture! It seems like furniture still stays a winner in the earning competition. This is mainly because the furniture has a lot higher value. Its value is 2.2 times the price compared to 1.75 times on electronics. Selling furniture with a manager will make the value about the same as electronics without the manager. But as the test showed, even with the same value it happened to earn more money an hour than electronics. In fact, if you would stock all the furniture with a truck, it would earn around 330k an hour, which is almost twice the amount of electronics delivered with the vehicle. Heads up. Certain videos claiming to earn 500k an hour is not in net income, it is in general money income. The typical net income of a 500k an hour store would be around 180k. Alright, now that we know that furniture is the way to go, how do you build it? Well, I suggest building as compact of a store as possible, while also having as high as rated crowdedness as possible. An example is to build a box like this one, where you fit the furniture in the middle and the parking slots around. I built this with a two-story version and then two different store areas for it. This made the crowdedness low which gave me more visitors, while also having a compact sized store. The technique I used when building the furniture slots has was the technique used in the money guide video. Let me show you. 
All right, so usually I'm just build I'm just starting by building the normal furniture layout from the furniture video. So I start by just placing all the things that you're probably already familiar with. Uh, it, it will be nine of the small plots and three of the large ones. And then I'm just placing this them. It's up to you how you want to place them, but I'm placing it like this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I also make sure to remember the customer service. So right here, I'm placing customer service like this. And also another one over here. Now we have two different uh, places we, if yeah, the customers can uh, sell their items just to make it a little bit faster. Now, this is now the first floor. You could also build a second floor if you want the store to be less crowded, because this will have a lot more crowdedness. So, the more money you have, the more you could fit. And now you're basically good to go. Now this is a small version of the store. You can decide yourself to expand it as much as you want. But one thing I got that is very important is to not make the store too large. Because it will make the customers waste a lot of time by just walking. You want the customers to be inside your store as quickly as possible. Use up their money as quickly as possible and leave as quickly as possible. So we will simply just earn more money. So we will just now put a ceiling on top of the store and we are good. This is the finished product and this will earn around. Since this is a smaller version, I would expect it to earn around 200k an hour with a manager. Setting up the manager, as I've explained in another video, I can explain it quickly again. Very simple, you just place the manager up, you will then just uh, start your manager and it will start purchasing all the items that you need. An important thing to remember is that the manager will lose your money in the beginning, so don't worry. He or she will eventually earn your money in the long run anyways. And also when you have enough money to, to build this store, you should also probably have enough money to stock everything in the store. And there we go, we are now good to go. This is our uh, maxed out store. I Another suggestion is to buy more parking slots once you have enough money for it. I suggest having it max four different spots of each furniture, so no more than four. More than that, you will start losing money again. Uh, one other money tip to remember are the checkouts and the workers. As you realized, I'm using self-checkouts. This specific store is for grinding purposes. That's why I'm building self-checkouts because self-checkouts in the long run will be cheaper than the other checkouts because of the worker fees. When having workers like cashiers or too many restockers, you will lose lots of money in the long run. One worker get paid $20 a minute, which equals to $1,200 an hour and $24,000 a day. If you then multiply that by the amount of workers you have, you see that they lose you lots of money. So I suggest having self-checkouts only and having one or two restockers and never more than four. With four workers, it would be 100k lost a day, which is not a lot, but still a somewhat noticeable amount. Remember that the manager gets paid double, so a $40 a minute. Also, do not forget the signs. I almost forgot it myself. Which one you buy does not matter as long as you buy the one which gives you the most amount of signage. For example, the big roof sign, which gives you 100 signage. Signs are essential for having most customers as possible. Now, how do you get the 5 star rated store? The store I have right now is not opened, so you see that it's not too so decorations are pretty outdated, but you see that the decoration is bad, although the shelter is good because I've uh, built a nice shelter around it. If I want to improve the decoration, uh, one tip from me to do is to just build fountains around it. If you click the little menu here, you will see like green marks over where you have decorations or not. And by building fountains like this, it will become, become all green. Also, don't forget the area with the storage, because they also output lesser decoration. Although, placing the storage area a specific length away from the store, if you, if you move them all the way over here, 
The lesser decoration won't matter because customers aren't walking here, so they won't see it either. So another tip I'm using is the pot of plants. Right here I would just drag over with pot of plants because they won't interrupt any customers and they won't really care. It doesn't look good from the outside, but it is better. It gives you better decoration. Now my decoration should possibly go up to five stars. Now, as you might have realized, I didn't have a five star rated shelter. And if you wonder why, well, the reason is because where the staircases are, are placed, I forgot to build a roof above it. At all places where the customers are walking, they would want a roof above them in order to give the shelter a 5 star rating. The only places you probably won't need shelter is above the parking slots. On all other places, I suggest having a roof above it and also walls. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to reach 5 stars, comment down below and I can make a video on that as well. Now, if you want to grind for the billboard, or just lots of money in general, you might need an auto clicker. This auto clicker is the one I'm using and it works very well. I'll link the website down below. Then you simply just click download, download your auto clicker to whatever places you want to download it and just open it. It will look something like this. The click interval decides how many clicks you want to be done in a specific amount of time. The standard is one click per 100 milliseconds or 10 click, or, which is basically 10 clicks a second. And then make sure to keep it on the left mouse button, which is standard and single click type. Now you can't forget repeat until stopped, because if it stops, then you will get kicked from Roblox. So this auto clicker alone is enough for you to actually stay in the server and not get kicked for being idle. One thing you then do is either clicking F6 or what I just like to do, click start. And then I just move my mouse over, hover over there, and then just open Roblox. And it might be a bit hard with the auto clicker, but if you just flick it towards the application like this, you will open the game and you're good to go. Now I can sit down, relax and earn my money. And in approximately 14 days, with this technique, I should be able to reach the billboard, even with the increase the billboard is getting right now. So if you want to use this strategy to reach the billboard, then use it now before other people are using it. Now, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want more content like this one, and also don't forget that I recently started a Discord server where you can have private conversations with me and other players in the community. Else than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.